Today I'm going to teach you some balancing chip tricks um, How to accomplish them Now this is a, one of the simple balancing chip tricks but it's, it's going to be very difficult All balancing chip tricks are difficult To start with For this one we call a Floater They've, Well, most of people call it floater I've called it floating star Basically, what you try to do is try to achieve scan two chips through the back of your two fingers. Um, we started off. The way to do it, there's not much technique I can show you or shortcut to this. It's basically you need to get the position. Uh, I can only show you the step of it. You hold two chips like that, with these two fingers. Then you balance it with the third finger there. The first thing you got to learn is is that um, lockout. You know that lockout um, flip. If you can't do the lockout flip, then you already fell, so you don't don't need to go any further. So you learn that that lockout flip, which is goes like this, but with two chips, lockout. So you start with the lockout, then. Drop that back chips or using your, your your first finger to catch it or or get it so that it's balanced on the back of that finger. At the same time, you get that finger onto that position so that and that is in the middle of the chips. So that gives you the mobility for that finger to twist that second one around. So once you get that shape, then you can use that to twist that one. So you can put that on the back of that finger. From here, you got to balance your two chips. That takes up a time. So that's basically what I can show you um, to do it. That was already um, called the floater. But if you're good enough to go this far, then I also can show you how to close it. So closing it is you clap the two chips like onto those corners. Then you also grab it with your thumb, so you don't no longer need these two fingers. At the same time, you can just drop that into it, uh, into the thing, if you like. But if you more more advanced, you could also twist that again, and then drop it in, and that's more professional. And I'll show you again from one step to another. First, you do your lockout lockout trick. A local variation, grab it with the back of that finger, holding that, and then now you've got the room. Once you can get that finger out, make it so you catch that corner, so you got about like a half of a shape, and now you give you more room for that to be spin. Now you spin it with that finger, at the same time, push it all the way through, don't stop in the middle, and now you try to feel your way where to balance that chips. Once you get that feeling, then you can balance it. That's a floater already. If you can get this far, you're already very good. But then you can always advance that to closing that two chips as well. So to close that two chips back to normal, you will have to hold this chip with these two fingers. So, so you've got a grip. At the same time, grip it with your thumb so you can let that finger out. And then also you can pick this finger up so you've got these two fingers to put relax and can do what you want. At the same time, don't forget to keep that one balanced. Now you can twist that again, so it looks more more twist. At the same time, you're dropping that chips down. Once you once you get a technique of it, you, you can drop that chips down to that and holding it with those two fingers, uh, so it wouldn't drop all the way through. Then you just hold keep holding it and then you put the two finger on top. And that's how you finish it, the chip trick, or this way, or this way, or whatever, that's the end of it, and you can start again, see, once it's finished, you can start again, so you can keep doing that round and round, but to get to this, this other variations, this one you can do three chips, where you can put one, two, three, and three fingers, but that's a more technique, um, I don't have time to show you that today, um, there's also other, other, other kind of balance, where you can do a butterfly, um, you can do a butterfly to start with, and then do the balance. 
what will happen in the butterfly balance is like doing a butterfly, which is um, not really easy when your hands are wet, but there you go. Uh, this is the balance. But you don't close it the normal way. You close it by grabbing the four chips into a fist. Put your hand in the fist. How do you do that? Many people got stuck from here because they don't know how to close it, how to grab it. The way to grab it is these chips will be like that, and that one will be like that, and that one will be like that. So that's the, that's the motion you need. See, see that finger is pulling that two sides towards you, so they, they'll be close like that. This one will be close like that, and this one will be close like that as well. Okay, so this is what happens. See, you grip them, so into the fist. This is actually what I call the... This is, when it's that shape, I call this the cat's paw. Anyway, that's how I call this one. From the cat's paw, you, sl you slam it down to the table. So you need, from here, you will feel the chips locating on your fingers. That you need time to practice. Once you get the right position, then you can uh, just open the chips. Like you, like you, like you just open your hand. And that's called a balance as well, which is very hard. So you need to get this balance from a butterfly variations. Once you do a butterfly, you can go to a, a cat's paw, then you can go to the balance. And to close it, you can close it any way you like. I tend to close it like a cat's paw again, and then I just close it. That's the other way of closing it, but that's the, that's the one I'm using at the moment. And that's um, that's a balance. That's um, butterfly into balance variation. Um, in the future, I might teach you some more balance. But for now, that's it for the balance technique. Bye. your keys cause whatever you're drinking it's on me it's on me stand if you want to stare if you want to but i got to party i need me a party came here to get you but i can't